I want to talk about it's not how you fall, it's how you get up. I don't know about you, but actually, I do know about you. I have fallen so many times. I mean, I, I've lost count, honestly. I, I don't even remember how many times I've fallen. And sometimes I get up right away. And sometimes I'll do the slow climb up. You know, sometimes I'll hang out in bed and cry a little bit. Sometimes I'll go call somebody up and bitch about it. And sometimes I'll just scream and say, fuck you, I'm getting up. You know, don't be mad if each time that you fall that you come up in different ways. But you think it's the character that shows us you getting up. So many times I will hear from an actor and, and it's ad nauseum. If I tell you ad nauseum, like I want to look at them and throw up all over them. When they go, I can't, no one's calling me, my agent, my this, my that, my this, well, fuck you. Get out of the way. Get out of the way so the champions that get up fast can get there. You're in the way. You're taking up space. You're taking up our opportunity to audition from your complaints. All of you here are champions. How could you not be? You're in a master class that is so fucking hard. And you're all doing really, really well. Because you take it, you don't cry, and you go and you do it and you complete it and you move. You keep moving. Trust me, I wanted to quit. I can't even tell you how many times I've wanted to quit. And it's not only with this, it's with so many things that I've tried. It's hard. Even with my I am enough line, it's it's just hard. You know, I was on the phone with customer service with Printful because these people in Tunisia are buying stuff and doing chargebacks on my little line. So what I didn't know is that I had to make it manual, not automatic. So then I could pick and choose who actually goes through. But nobody told me that. Just like nobody tells you about how many things in your career that you say you made a mistake on. You didn't make a mistake on it. Nobody told you. So how do you find out? By somebody ripping you off or falling on your face or getting a bad feedback or that's how you find out. Do you know when most people quit when they're this close to making it because it gets that hard and that's when they quit. I can't even tell you through the years. I remember people would spend the longest time putting together their package, like their, uh, resumes, going with the, getting the right pictures and the right demo reels. And it burnt them out so much and it took out all of their money that they went back home. It's like you were so close. That was the only thing that was missing. When they say the one percenters are the ones that are making it, that's no lie. It's because it's so easy to quit. And you guys aren't doing that. And that's what makes you a winner. Because the only way that you don't make it is if you quit. I always ask you guys to look at where you were when you started with me and where you are now. So you can see. That's why I have you record your classes. So it's not just me 
and your fellow classmates, your community telling you how great you're doing. You need to see it yourself. Because otherwise, what are we doing? We're in the dark. We're continually in the dark. Wanting just feedback. Well, give yourself feedback. Look at your tapes three months ago and look at them now. Look at the progress you're making, you know. And then actors have a tendency to complain. Oh, God, but I'm just getting callbacks. Well, fuck you. You weren't getting any before. Or I'm just being pinned. Well, fuck you. You were just getting callbacks. Or you know what? I'm just booking co-stars. Well, you know what? Screw you. You weren't booking at all for five years. Yeah, but I want a guest star. Well, work harder. I want a series regular. Well, work even harder than harder. And then you can have it all. And they get everything. Especially a network series regular. Those guys have bank. Like, serious bank. Like, as I say, house in Malibu bank. Like, seven, second house in the Hamptons bank. Like, fucking, you know, I don't know, Ferrari bank. But you think somebody's just going to hand that to you? No! You fall down, get your ass back up. I don't care how long it takes, but get it back up. And you be the champion that I know that you are. You wouldn't be here unless you were champion, because honestly, I... <laughs> I did an interview the other day on the guy. I say I actually said I will not work with losers. I actually said that in the interview. <laughs> if any of you listened to the interview, I was I was like, I couldn't believe I said that. But that's the truth. Losers actually give me panic attacks. I want to have an anxiety. I literally need to take an out of van. <laughs> because they're fucking losers. I only want to work with winners. Is that so wrong? And that's what you guys are. You're winners. That's why there's no space in this class. What did I let a couple people back in? Becky squeaked her way in. Hi, Becky. Raquel squeaked her way in. But pretty much, Abby came back, but pretty much everybody, Chris came back and Callie came back. And Monica came back. See, I'm like fucking fungus. You can't get rid of me. You grow on you and grow on you and grow on you. 